hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome so for today's video one of my followers messaged me yesterday and she had asked if i can do a natural glam look you know smoky eye type of thing and i was like okay like you know i'm down so what i ended up doing was i already did the rest of my face because your girl is breaking out we are in that you know month that period so i did my makeup first and it actually came out really good like she's mad honey what i ended up doing oh what i ended up doing was i mixed my fenty beauty hydrating and i mixed my fenty beauty matte foundation Let's see if you can see that and then if you can see that this is in 350 and this is in 370 so i ended up mixing that and i actually have a new foundation routine um i could probably do that um for another video if you want um I, so i ended up mixing both um i put my setting powder down first which i usually do and yeah it actually came out really good i really love it um i'm sorry if it looks like this part of her is like lighter than it i tried to blend it out in person is blended out blended out perfectly fine but for some reason the lighting is making it look like i just wanted to blend this side of the face and not back so just bear with me i know you're probably going to be staring at it because that's all i can see but um yeah so let's get <laughs> right into the video <laughs> me or like even if i'm not going out or like even if i'm not doing anything i just spray um perfume on just to make me feel good i feel like when i smell good i feel good but this is what it looks like that's what it looks like it's actually really smells nice um but yeah so let's get right into the video for like i said that already i'm just like talking i'm just really excited i don't know um but yeah, so I already did my face. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my Fenty Beauty. I know, it's so dirty. I hope you can see it. Okay, there we go. My Fenty Beauty. And this is in the shade Honey. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take my Santa Potter, um Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to tap lightly into that. Just like one day of like that. Probably, wait. Yeah, so probably on this side. Just like that. <sighs> going to blow the excess off and what i'm gonna do is um let me get my mirror so i can see properly what i'm actually gonna do is i'm just gonna lightly just slice my face so what you're gonna do is just go down tap that access off and i'm just gonna go in lightly again and just bring it down and basically what this does is it just makes your contour look more sharper what i used to do was i got happy because i I mean, this could be another video. I won't, you know, go into depth about it because I don't really talk about it. But I gained a lot of weight, probably like, I want to say two, one year. I think it was like, no, it was like one year ago. Yeah. So I'll say one year ago, I gained like a lot of weight. Um, so what I used to do is I used to cake that set of bottle on. And I noticed that like when you put it on heavy, it, it, it sharpens your contour, but it also like makes it look too white and that's not what we want to go for so just lightly just slice your face i like to say slice because i mean come on like it actually does the job so i'm gonna go back into that set and powder tap lightly blow the excess off and then i'm just gonna do the other side i'm gonna go in again okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna blend that and dot her because i only want it to be like half of my half of my face and you can already see like how it's already going in okay so now we're gonna get into the eyeshadow so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go into my hula by benefit and i actually already contoured my nose but I actually just wanted to tell you um, the next step for the first step 
for my eyeshadow so what i ended up doing was i brought my contour all the way into my eyes and honestly i feel like hula by benefit you can use it as a contour yes that's what it's meant for but this probably has to be the truest brown i i hope that makes sense but it has to be like the perfect brown shade for you to use as a transition color basically a transition color is what you would use to put down first before you go into the heavy eyeshadows so like the dark browns the blacks the blues like you know heavy eyeshadows that are really pigmented just so it's like a more airbrushed effect up the top so what i ended up doing was i went into that and then i just brushed all over the top part of my eye and i connected it with my nose contour so no it's just like it looks more fresh it looks more natural it doesn't look too harsh and i love that because the last thing you want to do is have a nose contour <laughs> that looks really harsh and i'm not gonna lie i used to do that but you know we grow we learn and that's like the whole process of makeup to be honest you know so now the next step is i'm gonna go trying to figure out what eyeshadow palette i should use that has a nice undertone brown because i don't want to go into like a harsh brown you want to go into a brown that's more what's the word you want to go into a brown that's more cool tone like this one's really cool tone like when you look at it it doesn't even look like i have eyeshadow on. like a little bit yeah i won't be dramatic a little bit but it's not where it's like oh my god like you know <laughs> um let me just swatch these real quick okay that's orange okay so this is exactly what i was talking about you see how like when you look at this brown it it looks like a cool brown like a, a nice natural tone in person it looks like a nice natural tone on camera it might look like an orange but i don't know in person it looks really cool um but when i looked at that i swatched it it's so orange um one sec okay so i found a brown that i think that i'm gonna use um okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into my 3503 fierce by nature palette i love it's like in all my videos <laughs> but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go between this brown and this brown just to balance it off because i when i swatched this one it came out really really bright and i'm like you don't want to go in too bright where it overpowers the transition color you want to go in where it's just a little hint of brown where you can be like okay i can see the transition color as well as i can see where you know the um second layer or the second color is present so i'm gonna go between this one and this one into this brown and then i'm gonna dip into this brown just to cool it down tap off the excess because you don't want to have fallout i hate fallout <laughs> Especially when I already do my makeup. I don't normally do my makeup first. But um, I wanted to do it in this case because I didn't want it to be too long. So yeah, so now that I dipped into those, I'm going to tap the excess off. And now I'm just going to lightly go into it. I'm going to start off light though. I don't want to go in like, you know, heavy handed because that's when the, the color really just takes control. The point is to let your hand just be free. That's why I usually, oh my god, my hand's so dirty. Sorry, you're just gonna have to bear with me. But, okay, so the easiest way to apply a shadow is to hold the brush by the end just so that you can have um, complete control of the brush. If you hold it from here, you can hold it from here when it comes to certain things. So if I was doing, um, if I was gonna take my angle brush, and I wanted to create a weave, then I would hold it here just so I have more control of where the brush goes. But because applying eyeshadow doesn't need to be that controlled, it should just be, you know, a free thing, then I wouldn't I would suggest that you hold it from the end. So you see how like it's 
it's you can still see the transition color up here but the brown that I, I applied is more in this area so it's still like it's two different shades but it's blending really well together so I'm just gonna dip into both of those again and I'm just gonna go really did okay so now I'm just gonna do the other side and then I'll be right back so now that that is all blended I'm gonna go into my Jackie Anna palette and this is in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging is not finished yet. okay so now I'm gonna go into ginger which is like this light brown shade down the bottom honestly all the colors are gonna look the same but it's all about building up that color. You don't want to go straight in with a harsh color. And this color looks light, but it's actually going to change the game. So now I'm just dipping into that, tap off the excess. And I'm going to do exactly what I did. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stay from here until here. So I'm going to stay in this area because the whole point about a natural... A natural glowy look is to make the outer corner of your eye more darker so that you're able to make the inner part more lighter but another way that you can do it is if I wanted to I won't do it today but another look that you can do is you can so I can put the ginger from here to here and then from here into my inner tear ducts and then what I can do is eventually when I use the gold shade I can put the gold shade here and just hmm do I want to do that today I'm trying to feel like I'm trying to feel out what my vibe is today I think we'll do that yeah because I haven't done that look in a while so I think we'll do that today so I'm gonna tap back into that ginger and then now I'm just going Okay, so now I'm just going to go into that ginger and I'm just going to put that all over my lid but focus it more on my outer eyes. So now, hmm, it didn't do what I thought it was going to do but I think it's because I went in with a darker orange but that's okay because it, it came out how I wanted it to but the ginger just didn't show up as much so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into her palette and I'm gonna go into credit which is this dark brown shade oh, it's, it's like the perfect brown I'm like sis like when I yes because we're manifesting over here on this channel when I do a collaboration I'm definitely going to put a true brown in my palette because she did that. She did that. I, I, okay, I won't say hate on this channel because that's too much. I dislike when I buy a palette and I'm like, oh yes, true browns, you know, from light brown all the way to dark brown. But then the browns don't come out how you say they are. And then maybe patchy. I promise you, when I create my eyeshadow palette, it will never, ever be patchy. I can't. I can't. It's like, it's the worst thing anybody can do is make an eyeshadow palette that is patchy. I want some fun. Say hi. <laughs> that was my twin. If you didn't know, I have a twin. But he, so because we're under quarantine, he hasn't been able to get a haircut in like a month. And he's like, um, when I get a haircut, I'll come say hi. So you'll see him when he has a haircut. But for now, you don't get to see his buddy. But, okay, so now I'm going to go into credit. And I'm just going to place this. Um, I'm going to put it in he in my inner, uh, in my inner T-Rox. She's gorgeous. And then I'm going to put it on, my, on the outer corner of my eye. As well as I'm going to blend it 
into my crease. darken all around the eye so that when I put that glitter I really want to do like <laughs> I was thinking about it but I was like what would I do it on I really want to do like uh, ASMR um makeup thing but not like where i eat like if i'm i'm like talking and doing my makeup so you know how like when i like um tap off the access it'll be like <laughs> i think that's the thing that would be so funny like and then i'll be like so now i am going to tap off the access and now i am going to blend out that brown into like wouldn't that be so interesting i feel like a lot of people would be so interested in that but yeah so now i'm just gonna continue to build that up Ugh. it's a lot that it's not a, okay it's not a lot that goes into a natural eye glam but like you can just put on like you know a natural brown or a neutral brown and then slap on some gold but I, I don't know, I just like to build it up. I like to, even though it's natural, make it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna go back into that 3503 Fierce by Nature palette by Morphe and I'm gonna go into that, I'm gonna go into that True Black that I used in my last video. So mind the dots, cause we have to do a polka dot look. If you haven't seen that, it's gonna be linked up the top and you can go watch that. Cause your girl did that look. So yeah, we're gonna tap into this. Just a little tap, cause this comes off pigment. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip into that black. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the black between here and here. I'm not gonna bring it, I'm not gonna bring it over. I'm just gonna keep it from here up to here. And this will create that smoky eye effect to make your eye just, you know, lift. Put it on like an angle but start off with the black not too harsh because black is a serious color okay so what i'm doing now i know i said i'm gonna stay from her to her but i'm just gonna go in and i'm just gonna keep building that black up and bringing it down on an angle so even though even though we're not doing wing eyeliner we can still have that wing eyeliner effect but i'm also going to keep bringing it into I said I was gonna stay here, but I wanna bring I'm gonna look down so you can see. I wanna bring this brown in just to the middle. Because I really like how that looks. But I'm gonna leave it for now. When I put my lashes on, that's when I'll go back into the brown and like, you know, control it more. But it's 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 controlled for now. I still see some like spots that I'll probably put like more black on, but for now she's good. Okay, so the last step that I am going to do is I'm going to pick out the gold that I want to put on top. This is probably like the best part ever. You don't want to go in with straight gold just in case the gold comes out too bright. Um, when you start off with a lighter gold, it's easier for you to control um what goes on top so ex for example when i put zam on top okay let me do a swatch for you because you're probably like sasha we don't know what the girls look like 
Okay, so that is from Zam, which is like a more... It's kind of like a more rose girl, but it still like pops and does what it has to do. And then this is the girl from the 3503 palette. It's girl, so I'm trying to see which girl I want to use. Okay, so what I might do is I'm going to go in with Zam first from the Jackie Aina palette. Just so that I can see what I'm working with. Let me see. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't like that. Do I sound British? I feel like I sound British anyway. This goes like, even when I'm in Canada at school. Like all my, all my um like classmates. Are you from London? No, I'm from Bermuda. Like, is my question? So, one second, because there's so much girls in these palettes. Like, I open up this palette and there's like one, two. So, let me just figure out what I want to do first and then I'll be like, okay, the girl's back. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my 39 Owl Hit the Lights palette by Morphe. And I'm actually gonna go into that gold, which was. Ooh. This palette's huge. Which girl was it? Oh, I think it was this one. I'm just being dramatic, but this. Come to five, come to five, come to five. Come to five. I had to tell me that. I had to tell myself that sometimes. I don't like really dramatic endings, but stuff like that, I'm just like, you know? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go into that gold which is this one right here she's pretty she's like subtle she's like okay this is the type of girl that would like pull up to a party but she's like classy like she's just can i get okay what would she order as a drink she would probably get like hmm she'll probably get like a chardonnay because i feel like chardonnay is like or like a pinot grigio yeah she'll get pinot grigio she's like more of like i'm classy but i'm a gap period <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go into that gold and basically where's my gap? Okay, so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna carve out that eyelid now can't stress this enough take your time because okay so let me show you if you can see there's like three layer three different layers or three different levels of when you put your makeup on your eyeshadow on so when you first do your eyeshadow you have the top level which is the transition then the next level would be this part of your eye which is the blending and then the last level is here and you can even see where mine's is right here that's the last level normally where you know the golds will go and all the shimmers the glitters will go to make it pop what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into the second level which will be right here just because i have like these lines so if I was to go only where that line is and then I look up, you wouldn't see it. You wouldn't see the gold on my eyelid because when I look up, you can only see so much. So I'm just going to, I'll look down so you can see. Carve out where I want to put that gold first before I go in. Shimmer on... An angle so like I'm not gonna go all the way just because that black is there but you can still you can still go into the black a little just to blend it out but we're gonna go back into that girl once we put our lashes okay so now that your girl is on your lids I'm gonna go back into that black, take the accent off, and I'm just gonna paste that black on my lid 
just to make it darker but i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna touch the outer part of my face i'm just gonna make the lower lash line darker yeah so i'm gonna put my lashes on now and then i'll be right i have a name on it it's kind of i got these from the pharmacy but um it was a five pack and what i actually did was i stacked two pairs of lashes together to create a more volume look i always do that just because the lashes that they have in the pharmacies um the pack that you get is kind of like subtle lashes which is cute you know cute vibes if you don't want the extensions then you get the natural ones but um i start off with the natural ones i use the natural ones when i go to school but when i do looks like these i tend to glue two together just to create that volume look so i glued my lashes on and what i actually did was i brought the lash onto the inner corner of my eyes and then when it came to the last part you can't really tell though right now but what i ended up doing was i lifted the actual lash onto my actual eyelid so instead of following the rest of my lash line like i usually would i actually just lifted them a bit just to create that volume and i actually learned that from our now armand she's like amazing i love her on youtube um she did that in one of her recent videos um and i was like oh my god like that's so smart um so now i'm gonna go into my milk mascara and this is in kush mascara and i actually got this from sephora i think i said this in my last video though i got this from sephora in like a sample pack so now i'm just gonna put my mascara on and this is just gonna make the look even more I feel like if I put it on my regular lash line, it wouldn't be like, it wouldn't pop as much as I want it to. I'm actually like really in love with it. <laughs> oh my god! I did that. Not to toot my own horn, gas my own car, but she did that. Okay. So what I ended up doing was underneath my eye, I actually went in with a brown liner, eyeliner. And I just put that all on the bottom of my eye. And then I went in with, where's my Morphe brush? Where's my Morphe brush? I feel like at least 10 times a day this happens to me. I'm like, okay, I can see my whole dresser, but where's the brush? Oh. And they'd be right in front of me, just like now. So I went in with my Morphe E36 brush, which is, it looks like this just more defined brush and i actually went in with a black eyeshadow and i just blended it all into the black eyeliner just to give it more of a natural look more than dark i mean it, it, it came out dark but not too harsh um so yeah that's how this look turned out i'm now going to i'm now going to brush off that excess powder see how sharp it kind of looks now actually gonna need to just dust that off because last time i forgot it was on there um i'm just gonna go in with the leftover like powder that's left into this top and i'm just going to put that on the high point of my face just so that it's still matte i'm just gonna go back into her because i can see her Oh, and I also blended it into that black. So I connected my lower lash line into the corner of that black so that it all comes together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some red lipstick on, honey. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go... Oh, my nose is like, on, what's wrong with me? I'm going to go in with my matte lip liner in chestnut and i'm just gonna outline my lips with it okay so don't come for me yet because i'm gonna clean it <laughs> um yeah Okay, so now I'm going to go into my Fenty Beauty, and I think this is going to... Okay, so I didn't build it up to how bright I want it, but now I'm just going to take some foundation 
and I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm just going to clean up on the outer edges of my lips. for coming back to watch another video i hope that you like this step-by-step -step tutorial for this glammed look au revoir i will see you on monday